Hi everyone, so last week we got the patch notes for patch 1.1.1 and I made a video talking about the new no boss meta that I was theorizing about. If you haven't seen the patch notes at all, well, there was a massive buff to the HP of dungeon bosses. So in particular on the higher levels, they would get beefed up significantly to the point where they have double or even more than that life. And my point was that this is probably going to be a big problem for a lot of builds. Well, then I went ahead and tried out a so-called no boss strategy where I would only run nightmare dungeons that don't have a boss. So that builds such as Frozen Orb, for example, you know, these kind of builds that don't have single target damage would actually not really make you want to uninstall when you play the game. So uh, I tried this out in, for several hours pre-patch just to see if I can actually sustain those sigils see if this is actually a possible strategy and my conclusion was yeah kind of but not really because of several problems so i kind of disregarded that and just said yeah we probably just have to deal with long boss fights in the future and in general i did not agree with this boss hp buff and a lot of all other people also seem to not agree with it because it just makes kind of boring boss fights just longer and more boring and there's definitely way better ways to improve these, for example, by beefing up the damage and speed or giving them affixes or some other stuff. Well, then came the patch day and <laughs> we had this funny meme video about, well, I was just one-shotting bosses anyway. And after trying this for various runs, I kind of concluded, yeah, maybe I was a bit hyperbolic, maybe I was a bit uh, early in calling this um, new meta or something like that where you just want to skip bosses. Of course, I was playing a build here that is actually kind of good at bosses. We just like one bonk them with the Kratos Barb. But yeah, in the end, I guess it wouldn't be all that bad after all for most people. And I also heard similar voices from, you know, many people in my Twitch chat, for example, in comments on YouTube and all that stuff. I had a conclusion. Yeah, this is pretty much irrelevant. Why would you do that? There's many problems attached to this no boss strategy you can probably just safely ignore it after all. But then I had a bit of a suspicion. So what I did is I actually went in and I corrected some numbers. And now this is where things are getting real interesting. So I have some pre-patch and post-patch numbers here and I tried to put this to the test. Did the bosses actually get more HP? Well, I went through my footage and basically what I did is I looked at some of those runs here. I uh, corrected the data, the tier, the dungeon, the boss and I have my footage here that is running in the background. So uh, I was looking at how much damage I actually dealt to those bosses and estimated their HP in millions. So uh, you see here for example uh, a 42 Garen hold is like the fallen shaman that you just saw getting one bonk there has around 2.8 million or so. So I was estimating this based on the damage I was dealing. Sometimes I was like completely overkilling them so it was kind of hard to estimate but those are only like uh, you know two examples here. And uh, most of the others, I actually looked at how much HP that lost compared to um, the damage I was dealing, basically. So I could kind of calculate the total HP like that without having HP values in the game. And uh, it turns out that, for example, here at around tier 49, we have Path of the Blind, the Demon Boss, the Scourge of the Lands, for example, 5 million HP. Same with the Two Nord, interestingly, they have the same HP here on the same tier. And also turns out, I checked... Um, like a few runs where I was running the same dungeon on the same tier with the same boss and uh, they seem to have exactly the same HP as well. So there's no like random variance or if so, very little. Well, turns out uh, I actually had a pre-patch and a post-patch run of the same dungeon, the Domain Tunnels. So this dungeon has our good old Kazura Abomination friend here and uh, I estimated that this boss has roughly 6 million HP or so uh, pre-patch. And uh, I had the same sigil again, but it has plus 30% life, where I um, looked at the damage I was dealing and I calculated it was around 7.6 million. Now, if you remove this 30% life from the sigil, turns out that the number of the original HP actually seems to be lower, 5.8. So this is, you know, pretty close, like a few percent off. So I was probably like, you know, doing some rounding errors here and stuff like that. But the bottom line is, it seems like they didn't actually do anything with those bosses after all. Like I actually confirmed that this 30% life is a multiplier. So I did another dungeon here and I had another dungeon here. And uh, well, we can see clearly that 
um, my actual damage done was for example 5.4 million here in this 43 hall frost and uh, if you remove the 30 percent life it will be 4.15 million which kind of checks out with the hall frost 44 being 4.4 which is a confirmed kill that i had in my footage so um it seems like there's like a five to six percent extra hp difference per tier uh, i'm not sure if this is like some you know general rule or just in that range or so but this is what we got and uh, you see here for example pre-patch 44 hall frost again the like kazura guy uh, with 4.4 million and we have the post patch 47 hall frost with 5.2 million and now if you take the 4.4 and you say a plus three tiers of like around six percent or so one two three well that checks out pretty nicely after all so um yeah i was looking at some of these other bosses and uh, at least in this range here of like 40 to 60 or so these dungeons they all seem completely unchanged so again these are the original values that they wanted to increase the hp by bosses at level 60 unchanged and then up to 80 it's plus 50 percent and then going from there it would basically be like one percent more extra hp per level so at level 100 which these bosses are here so if you look yeah, this is at 103 boss so so have roughly double the hp um yeah that was absolutely not noticeable like something like this would be easily noticeable and basically everyone just kept telling me that the bosses all seem the same and the data seems to confirm that. Even on the higher tiers, I heard from people pushing tier 100s, where you have level 154 bosses. And even there, people told me, no, like <laughs> it's just the same. So yeah, the conclusion is, well, seems like the bosses weren't buffed after all. So we just get a free legendary now. And we have more density in Nightmare Dungeons. Everyone is stronger. Barber is OP. Barber is everywhere. This is the patch after all. So actually nothing negative to say here i guess it's just like an insane power creep patch so enjoy while it lasts i guess kind of an interesting turn of events i gotta say but on the other hand i think probably a good move from blizzard to not include this i can imagine this is actually an intentional like you know choice that they left it out from the patch because maybe they realized uh, after some of the feedback maybe after some of the videos or whatever that this would probably be a relatively bad move to just increase the boss hp and maybe they are looking into ways to make bosses more exciting in other ways. At least that's what I'm hoping for. From what I've seen, the developers have been very responsive with feedback in the past so far. And this might be another case of that. So maybe we're actually going to hear about this. And maybe they're going to tell us, you know, if they have some other plans in an upcoming dev live stream or some dev blog or whatever. And let's see what they are actually cooking up. For now, this means, well false alarm i guess we can just keep blasting and well not struggle on those bosses as much as you thought we would that's it just want to give an update on that and also back up with what i found with uh, some of the data uh, let me know if you notice anything weird about this bosses or so or what are your experiences with the patch and other than that i'm going to keep you posted hope you like this and see you guys next time